This video shows a phase sequence test undertaken on a new installation. The new installation part that we are interested in comprises Auxiliary Transformer 1 and a matched Auxiliary Transformer 2. Auxiliary Transformer 1 feeds through its associated income switch 2500 amp vacuum circuit breaker which feeds Section A buzz bar. Auxiliary Transformer 2 feeds through its associated incomer 2500 amp vacuum circuit breaker to feed section B buzz bar. Section A and section B bus bars can be coupled through the bus coupler section which is a 2500 amp vacuum circuit breaker. This will allow the parallel operation of auxiliary transformer 1 and auxiliary transformer 2. The phasing check will be undertaken in the bus coupler section. The vacuum circuit breaker is removed, both transformers 1 and 2 are energised and the upstream power transformer tap changes have been balanced to give us the same voltage at this MV board. Our industry approved test device will be the PR11 Seawood phasing sticks. These have the voltage range from 3.3 kV systems up to 11.5 kV systems. The principle of the test is very simple. You apply the sticks to the L1 phase on transformer 1 and L1 phase on transformer 2. If the vectors are the same, i.e. there's no voltage difference between the two, the neon indicator does not light up. If however it does, it means that these phases are not the same as each other. So having checked the condition of the phasing sticks and their operation, we now open the bus bar shutters for section A bus bar and section B bus bar. Okay, it's time to start the testing now. First across L1 phases and hopefully the neon indicator does not illuminate, which it doesn't. Now we'll try an alternative phase, L2 to L1 and it does illuminate. L2 to L2, it doesn't. L3 to L2, it does. L3 to L3, no illumination. And L3 to L1, just to prove all the phasing. So the phasing is totally correct. And these transformers can, if necessary, be paralleled for a short time to allow for the system to be changed over without an outage to the consumers. Okay, once the test is complete, we reinsert the truck back into its test position and sign the job off as successfully completed. Hope you found this video of interest. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.